Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have a candy recall, unfortunately, after a seven-year-old dies. Now this is specifically in regard to a candy by the name of Rolling Candy, which I was gonna say, I don't know who designed this, but it is a candy in which you have a tube of liquid goop, because you know kids need their more high fructose corn syrup injected into them, because there's not enough in ketchup and every substance on the planet, seemingly. But nevertheless, it is a little tube with sh sugar, or I wish it was real sugar, that's actually healthier for you, high fructose corn syrup and chemicals you can't pronounce, and then at the tip is actually a ball in a socket, very similar to a ballpoint pen. And presumably you tilt it upside down and you lick the ball, and you get a little bit of the gooey substance every time you, I was about to say you enjoy the treat, but I really don't think that's a treat. That's more of a, eh, I don't know how much you really enjoy it. But nevertheless, it is a gooey substance I'm sure some kids like. Now, it looks like the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission warned, warning comes after six months after a seven-year-old choked and died in New York after the a cocoa candy, rolling candy, became dislodged and trapped in her throat. Now, it looks like the can... Cocoa Candy of Turkey and Passaic is a New Jersey-based KGR distribution and recall, recalled about 145,800 Cocoa Candy Rolling Candy sold in stores nationwide and online that were sold between May 2022 and March 2023. And they cost about $2.50 per unit. Although that's a little bit generous because, of course, the government is going to cost a little bit more than that, probably about 10% because of the sales tax. But nevertheless... The price you see on the sticker next to the candy was about two dollars and fifty cents. Now, it's one of those things where choking hazards is probably the number one detriment to most child toys, and is the biggest risk that you have when you're creating a, a toy or, in this case, a candy or confectionery product. And it's very sad that someone had to depart in this type of way. And I think, in terms of future fixes, they'll probably just drill holes into the sphere. Well, it's not fun business facts, but interesting business fact. If you ever see the clear Bic pens, where you see the cap on the pen, and it's actually a hole in the cap. Well, there's no really function for writing. That hole needs to be there. That hole is intentionally designed to be a part of the product because if the cap of the pen comes off and becomes dislodged in someone's throat or lodged in someone's throat, they can still breathe because of that small hole while they're waiting for medical services to remove that from their throat. So in that case, they created a safety feature for that product. In this case, very similarly, I suspect they'll actually have some type of holes drilled into the sphere. So even if it does become stuck, it would allow air to pass through that passage, albeit not a lot. But that may be one way you can mitigate that type of risk if you do not redesign the whole product altogether. Perhaps the future product just being a tube of goop that you squeeze drops out of, which... I swear, there was a brand that did that when I was a child, but for the life of me, I cannot remember at this very moment. But unfortunately, to have such a product designed specifically for kids, not to have more safety built in, and unfortunately for some to pass, that's, that's got to be the business blunder of the day. Thank you, everyone, again, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of October, so if you can click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, I'm not a doctor, but it may help with the stuttering that I have. If you click that button, it might be the cure. We don't know, but together we could find out. Also, I greatly appreciate your feedback, especially if it's critical, because that's how you grow the most. So if you leave a comment, I greatly appreciate it. Also, liking the channel may or may not help. I have no idea how the algorithm works. It seems to change like the weather, but liking the videos is a good indicator that I'm doing a good job or downvoting if I need to change some of the things accordingly. Also, lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.